Hey guys, welcome back to Struggleville YouTube channel. For this video, I'm going to show you on Tinkercad three different ways to create a tube. The first one on the screen here is just the tube object, the most obvious. The second one's a little bit less obvious. And the third one is maybe something that you haven't thought of before that I actually think is the most useful way to do it. But first off, just dragging the tube right here onto the work plane. You can see we have the basic tube and you have all your variables in the box over here. Now, I don't like this way of doing the tube, even though it may be on the surface the simplest. Uh, one thing is you can see we have the dimensions here. 20 by 20 and that's a radius of 10 because obviously radius is half of diameter and this these are technically showing the diameter now if I change this to 20 it gets bigger change back to 10 it goes back to 10 but if I grab here on the work plane and make it bigger this number never updates so if you're going back and forth and you don't know that this is that this doesn't update it can create havoc quickly so let's move this back to 20 now so we have it correct and it matches now the other thing I don't like is it gives you the radius which is half of the diameter so this is the diameter of 20 as we saw but that's the outside if you are more concerned about the inside you have to get the diameter and then you have to consider the wall thickness and then times that by two because it's going through the wall on both sides of the object. And for one project I wanted, I needed a tapered cylinder. As far as I know, I don't know how to make this thing tapered. So that is your first way to make a tube. The second way to make a tube, which I like a little bit better, is just to use two cylinders. So if we have this cylinder here make it 35 tall and let's say we wanted to make it a tube then we would just create a second cylinder you can see up here we have solid and we have hole we would create that one as a hole how tall did we make this we made this 35 so we can make this guy 35 and then we just we gotta make the size a little bit smaller, don't we? Let's make it uh, 15 and 15, and then we can just drag this guy inside here, make him a hole. Use the group function right here. It's the icon up top. See group, and bam! Now that is a cylinder. Now, of course, this one is not aligned correctly so we can highlight both pieces click this button is to ungroup things so they're individual objects again and then we will select them this is the align tool so we'll click align and you can align on three axes axes the x the y and the z and this middle button is uh, to center you can also align it to either side but we want to center it there we want to center it there and we already had it centered up and down so now we regroup and we have a perfect cylinder now I know it's a little bit more work or it feels like it but for me I was more interested in the inside diameter being exactly right and you get a little bit more control over this and even though it looks like more work I feel like it's actually easier so that's the second way to create a cylinder. Now the third way that I found to be extremely helpful was to actually use a cone. So if we drag the cone out here and in this instance I'm only going to play with your variables over in this box to the right and you can see your base radius and your top radius so you can create a taper in this way. So let's change the height to 40 and then we'll change the base radius to 20 which gives us a diameter of 40 and then the top radius here let's make it uh, let's see what's something you would notice 30 
so you can see how we're bigger on the bottom or smaller on the bottom bigger on top and we're going to do the same thing as we did in the last one so here we made a height of 40 and we had a base of 20 so we'll make our base 17 and here we had a top of 30 so we'll take off three on that one too make it 27 and now we're going to make this one the hole we'll select both we're going to align both this way and this way and then we will group and now we have a nice tapered cylinder so great if you had to make like a I'm making a friction fit on a hose end or if you had to make a nozzle or something or whatever you need a tapered way I actually like that a lot better so there it is guys three ways to make a tube on Tinkercad I just started playing around with this thing but I think it'd be fun to uh, do a playlist of different things as I learn as I go because there's a lot to it so make sure to give the video a like, subscribe for our subscriber, and I'll see you next time.